Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm really showing you everything. So I'm taking you with me as I go thrifting. I'm giving you a haul of all the stuff I got. And then we're also going to DIY some of these products. And then I'm gonna show you how I use it in my own home decor. So recently I went thrifting, I went to the flea markets, I went to the antique store, and I got so much good stuff and I can't wait to share it with you. So today, Chris and I are going thrifting, looking for some stuff to update in our house. So I wanted to take you along, and then at the end of the video, I will show you how I DIY some things. There's Chris. So we're just gonna spend the day going thrifting, so I will show you guys if I find anything good. So you guys won't believe it, but this clock was only 75 cents. They had it marked for $8, but they had their orange tags were 75 cents today. So I got this clock for 75 cents. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just gonna start here and work my way down this table. And then I can't wait to share this table with you at the end because that's new too. Okay, so this first basket I picked up, this was actually at an antique store. It's got this cute, cute, cute little lid, and I just thought it was so cute sitting out. It's got this white color to it. Um, I know that I spent under $20 for it, but you know at antique stores you usually spend more than you would if you got it at a thrift store. So I thought it would be cute sitting out with like a little blanket in it. You could keep this on top here, put a plant on it as well. Like there's just so many options for this. So I will show you how I use this in my home decor. Okay, so this next item I was really excited to find at a thrift store. And this particular thrift store I went to had what they considered like a vintage section. So all of like the really cool things were already in one little area. So I really like that. So you guys are not gonna believe what I found. This is a super old scale, and you won't believe how much I got this for. $5, it was like $4.95, I couldn't believe it either. It's super dirty, it needs to be cleaned up. All I'm gonna do is just take a rag um, and some water and lightly just try to get all the dust and dirt off of it. And once I do that, this is gonna be so cool sitting out. I love finding scales. I have another one that I picked up at an estate sale, and I thought getting that for $10 was a great deal, but $5, yes. So I was really excited to find that. This next item I picked up they had this at a flea market for $9. I got it because sometimes I struggle to find stools that are this height, and I really like the shape of it. Somebody did a horrible paint job on it. I mean, it's just so gross underneath. So I don't wanna paint over it. I think what I'm gonna do is just take my electric sander. I'm gonna try to sand it down, see what other paint colors are underneath it. Sometimes when you get older things, finding that underneath paint coat can be a lot of fun. So we're gonna sand it and then I think this would be cute sitting out with a plant on it. This would also make a great side table because it's the perfect height. So I may end up using it as a side table in my living room if it ends up being as cool as I hope it will be. One of the trends that I've been noticing recently is doing this kind of like modern farmhouse look. And there's a lot of black colors and I've myself been really into black accents this, I would say the, this year, kind of like 2020. So I found this piece of pottery at a thrift store and I actually got it half price. So I got it for $3.50 
and I thought this would look really cool spray painted with a matte black. That's kind of my favorite color to spray paint right now. So I'm gonna spray paint it matte black. And then to make it look farmhouse, just put like one sprig or maybe a couple in there. I think I may try the palm leaves that I just recently picked up at Walmart on a haul, but you really could put anything, but just you want a couple of sprigs in there, that's all you need. This would be great sitting out on a table. You could put it on a mantle, so many options. So the next thing I picked up was kind of spur of the moment but I walked by them and they were so cute. These were at the antique store and they are little glass shakers. Now, I'm not gonna use them for anything edible, clearly, but I just thought they were really cute. I thought they'd be cute in my dining room. I also thought they'd be cute in like a little vignette sitting in my kitchen. So these I had to pick up. For some reason, they weren't the same price. One was five and one was three. I think this one's got a little bubble in it. So they were $8, but I just thought they were really cute. I wanted to get a wood piece. I like when people sit these out on like side tables or coffee tables and then put the decor on the top. I think anytime you can add a level to your decor, it makes it look a little bit more high end and it gives it a little bit extra texture. So found this at an antique store for $4, so I went ahead and picked it up. This next item, you're not gonna be able to believe what I got it for. And I think I just kinda of really lucked out in this situation. So one of my most popular videos on my channel is a clock that I painted in an Annie Sloan duck egg. You guys love that video, and that's one of my favorite pieces in my home. Well, I found another clock very similar to that one. And it was originally, they had it priced at $8. So it was a 75 cents day for a certain tag, and this ended up only being 75 cents. I couldn't believe it. So excited. So I think I wanna use this on my mantle. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint it in ink by Waverly. Distress it. And I think it's gonna look so cool sitting out there. Going back to adding in levels, this is called a cheese basket. And I think these are really cool in like a farmhouse home. This one's really dirty, I need to clean it up a bit. These you can set out like this. If you wanna put it like underneath a table, this would look great sitting out. They also can sit like this and you can add a plant or create more levels, more interest. I just think it's really cool. And this was only $5 at this antique store. Love it. If you wanted to make it a darker wood, you could. You could add some stain to it, maybe tea stain it. Well, I saw this for $5, thought it was a good deal. I must have been really into uh, containers. So this caught my eye and I couldn't stop looking at it. It's this cool crate. So I like it, not a fan of the color of wood. So what I was thinking was tea staining, and I don't have any tea here, so what I'm actually gonna do is coffee stain that. So you just get some grounds and get them wet. You can put them in a little coffee filter and use them to wipe um, onto the wood. It's just gonna give it a little bit of a dark stain and it's gonna end up looking really cool. So that's kind of my trick when I don't wanna use an actual stain. I like to use that. And if you're staining something that's an actual edible, uh, coffee stain and tea stain is a good option for you. So I thought this would be really cool sitting out. I have a lot of blues in my decor. Uh, and this I just grabbed at a flea market. So 
So this next item I got is a really cool tray. And I like to use these in the center of my dining room table. I like to put them in my kitchen table just to kind of elevate my decor and also just keep it in a central location. You can also, if you have like a nice kitchen island, this would be great in there. Put like a few glass vases, put some sprigs in there, you're ready to go. So something like this is gonna give you nice texture. I think decor looks so much better when it's just not sitting out. You know, think about the textures, think about the levels. So this was 20 bucks, I'm excited to use it. I grabbed this crate, um, loved it. I just thought it was so cool. I love the writing on it. It was just such a neat crate. I love getting little things like this and putting like a couple of pillows in it. Sometimes you can do throws, whatever. They just look really great sitting out underneath the tables. Um, so I was super excited to find this. I'm not gonna do anything to it because it just, it looks perfect. I love the wood, I love the writing. been looking for a new kitchen table. This one they had priced at $375. But it's just so neat. It's got this really old barn wood top on it and it's got these fun drawers that come out. I don't know what it originally was, and these spindles are amazing. They have like really great detail. Um, love the distressing on it. Now it is dirty, so the first thing I need to do is just really clean this table up. On the painted parts down here, I'm gonna use a magic eraser and a damp cloth to wipe this down. For my top portion, I'm going to do a little bit more to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just use water and a rag to wipe off the surfaces. If I need to use a little bit of soap, I will add that in as well, but I really don't wanna use anything else on the actual wood portion of this. I like to use a water-based sealer. So I prefer water-based sealers whenever I'm able to do that. So I'm just going to do two coats, maybe three of this water-based sealer, allowing about five hours between each dry time. And then once I do that, it'll be great for everyday use. Don't you guys think it's like the perfect size for this? Now I need to add some additional things to it. So I need your suggestion. First moved in, I chalk painted this light fixture with its Annie Sloan duck egg, which is my favorite color. I'm thinking about changing that out to a black light fixture. I was also gonna get some new chairs, maybe some wood chairs, don't really know yet. My other question is, do you think that I should put a rug underneath the kitchen table. I never had it, you know, I always figured when my kids were younger, I'm like, I don't want a rug under there, you know, they'll just get food under there. Now that my girls are a little bit older, it may be an option for me. Let me know what you guys think if I should put a rug underneath the table. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do, because I always post in my stories when I'm doing new projects around the house, and they don't always end up in a YouTube video, so make sure that you're following me on Instagram as well. Okay, you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think of this format. Do you like it where I give you the haul, the shopping, and the DIY all in one? Let me know below because I'd love to do more like this in the future for you. If you're new here, make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any of our videos. I'll also link our last video so you can go watch that next, and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.